everyone doing? It is good to be back here with you. My name is Danny Ray. I, I got out of prison recently. I was visiting people in prison. You guys always assume the worst. And I did this for these guys while they were in prison. Hey, Jeremiah. You did sneak up on me, man. It's old spice. It's old spice? That smells good. All right. Here you go. Now, you can see how I'm trapped in there, right? There, there's no way to come around like this or to come through them or to come around the fingers or the thumbs, but watch. Any questions? <laughs> so I was doing this for these guys in prison, and this guy comes up to me afterwards. This was maximum security prison. He's like, I need to talk to you. I'm like, what's going on, man? He's like, over here, please. I'm like, so we step over to the side. He's like, listen, you know that one with the rubber bands? I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, can you do that with metal? <laughs> he wasn't kidding around. <laughs> now, I'll do this one more time for you guys. You could see I'm trapped in there. Some people think I could just like twist my hands and I'm out. But there's, there's no way to come through them. There's no way to come around the side or around the fingers. But watch, there's a first, there's a second. Some of you aren't going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> you guys have two rubber bands. If you see me and you have rubber bands, come find me. I'll do this for you. All right, let's do this. I'm going to need, let me borrow, can I borrow this gentleman right here, second row? I'm going to have you check this out really quick. That does nothing. Now, I'm going to take those out. I'm going to have you check these out. Just make sure they're empty. Make sure... What's your name? Michael. Michael. I'm Danny. Nice to meet you. All right. Are you happy with those, Michael? Uh, I, I think you're just happy in general. I don't think that has to do with this trick. All right. Michael, that was it. It wasn't a big job, but I had to have somebody check those out. Give it up for Michael. All right. Now, this, this one is going to be a message out of John 15.5. I'm going to roll these sleeves up because I don't feel like we built up trust yet. <laughs> So the sleeves are rolled up. In John 15, 5, it says this. It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a person remains in me and I remain in him or in her, they will bear much fruit. So the picture that Jesus gives is like, look, I'm like this giant tree trunk. And out here, you're just like this little itty bitty branch. But if you remain connected to me and I remain connected to you, then out here you'll bear much fruit. Here's the problem, though, sometimes as a church, is, is we want to go after the fruit. We want hope, and we want joy, and we want peace. But instead of that, we need to go after Jesus. Because it's when we remain in him and we stay connected with him that we will bear much fruit. But the very next part of that verse says this. It says, apart from me, you can do nothing. It's okay, I do have another one. Some of you are a little concerned. Now, if it's underneath here... You'll be able to hear it because these are steel ball bearings. Now, the point is this, though, is every day we stay connected to Jesus. As you stay connected to him, you're going to bear fruit in your life. But if you try to do things in your own strength, your own talent, you're going to find yourself empty. So the key is to remain in him. Not just me, but each one of you. Now, Here's what happens, though, is, is every day we have things that build up in our life, right? We feel like there's just things that are impossible to get through. But if we focus on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, he will help us through those difficult things. No matter where you're at today, no matter where your struggle is, if you focus on the author and perfecter of your faith, he will help you through those things. So here's, here's the reality is, is every day, every day we're going to have things that, that we struggle with, but we need to trust in Jesus that no matter where we are, you know, you could have said, you know what, I'm not going to come to this conference, you know, I'm just going to stay in my own little ministry or whatever, but it says you guys come together in Jesus' name that you're going to see him do amazing things. Now, I'm going to try to keep things simpler for some of you. 
I'll take this one out. If I take that one out, that leaves me two here. If I take this one out, how many does that leave me under the center cup? Who said three? No, just one. Um, but I did sneak one over here. Does that make sense? You guys aren't even blinking. Um, le let me explain this. All I do is I place it in my hand. I do. I wait for everybody to blink. And I reach in there. I take it out. You're not sure where to look. It's, it's over here. But I act like it's here. I say, look, I'm going to place it into my pocket. But what I really do is I take it from over here, and I sneak it underneath the cup like that. Does that make sense? No. OK, which leaves me how many under here? Right, three. OK, so some of you knew I was using four. The point is this, though, is every day we connect with Jesus. As we connect with him, we're going to bear, yeah, big fruit. Not just a little bit of fruit, but much fruit. So every day, connect with him. And as you connect with him, you're going to bear big fruit like that.